No one has names that long unless they're Spanish. Oh, a candle. I forgot about that thing. Let's put that out. Hmm, another note. Uh, High Priest Greedus, praise be thou and Brother Roland hath secured the chalice in the factory. I hath destroyed the stamped gear as instructed. Another canst be made in the stamping machine, but e'en a stamped gear is not without thy holy symbol to open the cage. Both must be used to activate the mechanism. Thus, while the symbol rests in thy chambers, surely our relics can be no safer. Brother Thorgrim. Well, obviously, it's not very safe if you just leave it there. Tch! I took that symbol and I didn't even have any trouble doing it. Master Forger Greedus, twice in the span of this week have I spied Brother Reginald pass by the statue of St. Edgar without pause to offer prayer of thanksgiving, so that he may achieve penitence with toil in the builder's name. I have sent him to work a double shift at the factory. I trust this has thy blessing. I have also a matter of doctrine for thee. Knowst thou of a similar... Uh, Knowst thou of the smaller effigy of St. Edgar that the Lady Warwick hath bestowed upon us? Dost this artifact require also the recitation of the prayer? Wilt the value of the object compensate for the lack of size? I shall secure it near my bed in the bunk room till I hear back from me. Roland. No, it's not secured in that bunk room because I took it. You people don't guard your things very well. Jeez. Ah, a shiny thing. That brings us up to our eleventh piece. Lovely. Hmm. <laughs> ah, stairs. I believe we've been here before. And this is perhaps a precarious place for you to be, so I'm going to put you over here with your other brother. You brothers love to sleep together, right? Well, I think that's how it goes. Another door to open. And... Builder, oh, grant hello. Me thy strength for mine arm, to smite thy enemies in thy name. And for thy purpose. Um, I'm not the enemy, I swear. Protection from the evil of the trickster. I'm from not the that malice either. Of those who would follow him in their dark forest. I like forests. So shall the master builder keep and watch over us. So shall his forge scorch the unrighteous and burn away all that which is impure and of the earth. I don't want so to be burned. So shall his blessed servant, Saint Edgar, serve as the messenger to his power. Praise to thee, Lord Builder, and praise to thee, Saint Edgar, thou who didst drink from the chalice and cleanse the land mm. of unworthy in thy righteousness. You sound very uppity. As thou hast directed, Master Forger Greedus, my oh, brethren Greedus. shall summon thee as they retire from their works. Tis well, but make sure tis done in a timely fashion. Last month, several brethren sounded the bell far too late in the eve. In other words, they woke you up. If I spy any brother late at his work, shall I then tell him he needs must receive thy blessing and tarry no longer? Yes. All right. All going to walk together. Oh, oh, oh. Careful now. On this St. Edgar's night, let the flame burn without ceasing. Let the builder cleanse my soul. Who mm. <coughs> has one? By the... Who dares disturb my meditations? Quickly. Don't want you to see this body. <laughs> Put this over here. Oops. Thou okay. shalt be found out ere long. No, no I won't. I don't believe you. 
If you do find me, I'll give you a cookie. I shall put an end to this sooner or later. How about sooner? Just stop looking for me right now. Um, I'm really not over there, so I don't know what you're seeing. Someone shall find the answer, I trust. Someone else, that is. Ha <laughs> ha! Lazy brother Greedus. Alright, Greed. Get over here. I have a special tool just for you. I call it... A blackjack. Oh. And down you go. Ah, look, a bowl. That will get us our twelfth piece, huh? Ah. Your singing sounds horrible. So you should uh, definitely stop that singing. It's very annoying. You really walk strangely on, on that night, bench. Let the flame burn without ceasing. Let the builder cleanse my soul. As he hmm. <clears throat> hmm. Whatever could that be? You falling? Oh well. You poor, poor brother. Alright. Oh, look. Some pretty things. Candle to put out. Another pretty thing. That brings us up to 14 pieces. And a note. Brothers, High Priest Greedus. Didn't I read this already? Ah, forget it. Hmm. Someone coming in here. I hear yawning. Oh, perhaps they're up there. Okay, uh, another book. The Glory of Saint Edgar. Twas the dawning of the last day of battle, and St. Edgar didst see that his forces had but few men left, hale and unwounded. Then didst he kneel before the chalice, and didst give entreaty to the builder to gift him with death to his foes, or his own death. If it be thy will that the foe fall, grant me thy strength to seek victory for thee. If it be thy will that the foe overcome, give me death by thy will now, for the foe shalt not have it. Then he supped from the chalice, and didst light and glory fill his limbs. And the foe fell as winter before the spring, and Saint Edgar gave praise to the builder, and didst he walk amongst the wounded and captured enemy, and didst he give them sup from the chalice, and they wert consumed utterly by the fire of the builder's forge, and the dead were beyond counting that St. Edgar shalt be praised above praise and gloried above glory, was his visage graven and sculpt in purest gold, that all who saw it shouldst also know the glory of that day and the value of his deeds.